Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Cuddle. In today's video, I'm gonna do a walkthrough tutorial of Zyro. Zyro is a powerful website builder that helps you create powerful websites in just a few hours. Zyro uses drag and drop editor that requires no skills to create a beautiful website for your business. If you would like to save some money, use our link to create an account with Zyro to get some free cash back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an e-commerce store using Zyro. So we're going to click start for free and then we will create an account. So you can continue with Google or you can enter your email address over here, your password over here and click create account. Once you log into your account, this is what your interface would look like. So there are three ways of making a website. The first way is to choose a template. The second one is to use their AI website generator or you can simply start from scratch. If you use the AI website generator, you're gonna click over here to generate the website and then you have to answer some questions about what you're looking for and based on that they will create a custom design for you so the first question is if we are selling the product online so in my case yes we are and then it's gonna ask you the type of website we are building so let's say we are building a fashion store and then it's gonna show you a theme for your website so it will be all of these colors fonts and buttons that you can take a look at um, and let's say we really like this one so I'll click over here so then it's going to ask you to select the features you would like to add to your store. So whether you want to sell an online store, you want to get a blog, you want to get a gallery, a slideshow, a contact form or a subscription form. And let's say I also want to add a subscription form to our store. So I would select that and click continue and then it's going to ask you to add the pages to your website if you want to add an about section a service page a portfolio page a faq page i would really love to add an faq page and you will click continue and now the ai is going to work and create a custom website for us so over here we do have few uh, swatches that they built let's take a look at this one for instance and that's what our store would look like and if you want you can choose this design and edit it uh, you can change the text the images you can add more content to it to make it more personalized for your business in this video we will be using a template to create our online store so we have different categories of templates over here so whether you need something in fashion photography portfolio resume you can select the one of your liking i'm gonna select fashion for this tutorial and i want the website to also include an online store so i will select that and over here we do have some really nice beautiful templates that we can use so i really like this one so i will click start building so then you will come to this page where it's going to ask you to select a store that fits your needs so if you go for a light store you can add up to 100 products you get a quick setup easy management and lightning fast sites with online store you can add up to 2500 products you can also mar automate the marketing emails. You can sell on Amazon, Facebook, and eBay. We will stick to light store for this tutorial and I will click start building. Perfect. So now we have a little section over here that says quick start guide, which is really good. So it's going to guide you through different steps that you need to take to ensure your website is fully compatible and ready. So you can add a favicon if you want. So favicon is like an icon that is displayed on the top section. For Zyro, the little pink uh, square with Zyro written on it is their favicon so you can add that as well you can also be found on google you can work with their seo tools eventually you can publish your customized website which will do it in few seconds and also you can connect your domain name and you can also collaborate with your favorite apps on the platform so on the left hand side we have pages and navigation so this is the section where you can add a page you can remove a page you can edit a page as well so for instance we are in the shop page right now so we have all these products listed over here if you want to go to an about page you can click over here and uh, make those edits and make the necessary changes if you want to get rid of the contact page you can click the setting icons and you can click delete to get rid of the contact page if you want to hide a certain page from navigation you can click this as well and that way in this section you can see the contact page is hidden from the navigation i want it to be visible so i'll click show and then if you want you can also rename it you can also make your contact page a home page if that's what you want to do and yeah so that's essentially how you can play around with this tab if you want to add another page you can just click add a new page add a blank page 
and you can name this page in navigation so let's say this is the fa Q page and when you click the seo tab over here you can also work with their seo tools which i really like so you can uh, set the page title page description in a way that it kind of ranks on the search engine every time somebody searches for it that looks good you can just click save and as you can see our faq page has been added and next we have the elements tab over here so we have text button gallery images instagram feed subscribe social icons or you can embed your code as well so basically if you want to add a certain button you can just pick that up and drop it over here you can place it in the center or wherever you want so you can use this uh, tab every time you want to add a certain text or an element to your website next we have the website styles over here so we have different colors text and button options as you can see which is where you can play around with the overall ui elements or the aesthetics of the website if you wanted to have a certain color theme you can click that as well and you can click change colors and customize your color palette and play around with that uh, for the buttons if you want to play around with different styles you can do that as well next we have the block section so this is something you can use if you want to add a block feature uh, to your website and then we have the light store tab over here to add any products of our choice they also have some really nice ai tools which you can use to create a logo for your company and also you can use their copywriting tool so if you want to write a certain copy for your website you can just filter out the results generate the text and go along with that so let's say if we are in beauty and cosmetics industry and we are also working in skincare and we want an about section uh, for our page so i'll click select a language for that i'll stick to english and then i would click generate text and as you can see we have these beautiful texts already designed for us you can always uh, feel free to edit it but it is a nice way to get some inspiration about the text content you would like to put on your website so now let's create our actual website so we are working with a company known as cloth and it is coming with a pop-up store to toronto and we want to create this website considering the fact that we want to inform our audience that hey we are coming to toronto and also we are selling products online at the same time um the products that we are specializing in is more like workout athletic gym wear cloth kind of stuff um so we're gonna create something beautiful for that um so first thing i would do is change the logo i will click over here and i will click replace image then i will click upload files and that's our logo for this project so i will click open and our logo is uploaded over here also one more thing i want to show you guys is when you click the free images section you do have access to quite a bunch of images with their partnership with unsplash which is really good so these are like really nice professional images that you can use on your website um, to make it more creative and also they are free to use so that's really good uh, i'll go back to my library and i'll click select all right so once we uploaded the image i'm just gonna make it slightly bigger like that and also you can adjust the menu item spacing so if you want to have more space you can do that as well you also have a shopping bag icon over here so if you want to enable it or disable it you can do that as well and we do have different uh, formats of shopping bag that you can use for this store if you want to head to the style icon that's where you can play around with the color and the aesthetics of the website so if you want your header to be more like a gray color or more like a pink color you can do that as well if you need your own custom color you can also Always play around with that I'm gonna stick to white for this tutorial and if you want a transparent header like that you can do it as well I really like a transparent header when we have like a really nice big image on the home screen it just looks much more fun and dynamic but I don't want it for this website so I'll keep it that way you can always uh, change the header text color as well so if you want it to be pink so it's gonna be pink over here if you want it to be like a blue color you can do that as well we'll stick to the black color for this tutorial so the next thing we will do is change the background image so if you want you can add a specific color of your choice if you want to add an image you can do that as well you can also adjust the overlay capacity by adjusting the scroll bar over here if you want to remove this image you're just going to click replace image and we'll go to the free images section and we will search for like gym workout clothes or something like that so i really like this image so i will click add to page 
and perfect that looks really nice and pretty the next thing i would do is change the text over here so i'll change that and i'll put that as introducing your new workout wardrobe and i'm also going to scale this text and the good thing is that when i scale it i do have this grids that kind of direct me just to make sure everything is nice and aligned so i really like that feature and i'm just going to drop the shop now button over here for this section if you want you can edit the text as well so we will change the font style we'll keep it as open sans medium and we can also play around with the size so i want the text to have like 60 uh, pixels that should do if you want it to be a bold text you can select all of it just click bold and if you want this text to be linked to another website you can do that as well so when you click the link button over here you can enter the website where you want it to be addressed to so if i want it to be addressed to www.youtube.com you can do that as well and hit the save button and next we have the shop now button you can edit the button as well you can edit the button text so we'll make that as by now and if you want you can link this button to a specific page by clicking link to so we here we have different pages um, so let's say if you want to direct this button to your shop page so you can just click shop and that way every time somebody clicks buy now they will be redirected to the shop page now if you want to add your own section you can do that as well all you need to do is click add section and then over here we do have different templates that you can choose from so if you want to add like an about section and if you like this page you can do that as well and and then you can edit the text over here replace the image um, you can add another image if you want and design it the way you like it and next uh, we do have our collection page so if you want you can change the image so I'll replace it to this guy over here and I'll also change the text we'll make it more like menswear collection 2022 and you can also play around with the text over here the next thing I would do is click add section and then I'm going to add a store to this website. So I will click this guy over here for example and we can assign a product to it. Meaning when I click over here, I can choose a product of my choice and the image, the description, the product size, product price, everything will be mentioned over here. If you want to edit this product, you can click edit product and then you will be directed to the store manager the first thing we're going to do is name our online store so i'll put that as cloth i'll click continue then we have to select our store country we'll put that as canada and the currency is cad we'll click continue so then you will come to this page where this platform will ask you to add a payment method and also uh, set the company settings and then you will click the product section over here and you will come to this page and you can add your own product so i do have my product image that i'll just drop it like that if you want to add more images you can do that as well then select the product type so it's a physical product so i'll put that as physical then give a title to this product so then you have to put in your title your subtitle and the description i added a sample copy so my title is workout top subtitle is your workout best friend the description is train hard not hard powered by cloth blah 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 so you can add everything you want on this section you can also customize it uh, based on a certain font style that you are looking for and play around with that and the next thing we will do is set the price so let's say this top would be 23.50 dollars and you can add your SKU number as well so that way you can keep track of your inventory so then we have this section that says product variants so let's say if this top has like three colors so you can click add variants and over here select your variation so i'll put that as color and then the variation option that you have so let's say we have one in green color one All right, that looks good so i'll click save and now as you can see our product has been added to our store we also have an order tab over here a shipping tab um the payment section and the checkout section as well which is where you can make uh, adjustments to how you would like to be paid or how you would like to manage your order then we have a general setting over here where you can make changes to the company name email address the company address and yeah a lot more other fun stuff if everything looks good i'll click save button and i'll go back to the editor so now when i went back to the store i clicked assign product and i selected work 
workout top and when i did that my product is displayed over here i can also change the layout uh, of the text if i want and i can also play around with the image ratio if you want it to be like a square or original you can do that as well and if somebody wants to select a different color they can do that as well and click add to back the other thing i want to show you guys is the social links icon so when i click edit social links i can make changes and set my own custom links so we have facebook link over here i will click setting i will click edit and i will put the new facebook link of my page where i want my customers to go to the similarly you can do that for the instagram account and the twitter account as well when you click style you can also in increase and decrease the icons as you can see i am doing it right now if you want the icons to have like a pink color you can do that as well when you click the layout section you do have an option to display this icon in a vertical manner like that and then you can adjust the spacing that you have between these icons now if you want to add a contact us form you can do that as well so you'll go to uh, add page you'll click contact form and we do have different templates that you can choose from so let's say we really like this one and there you go our contact us page has been added and we can customize this form by clicking edit form we can give a name to this form and then in the field section if i want to remove the last name section i'll just click remove field and that way it's gone and for the name section if i want to change it i'll put it like that as full name and when i do that as you can see full name will be reflected over here you can also change the placeholder text which is the text on this gray area and yeah that's how you can play around with different settings in the form section when you click the phone icon over here you can also come to your phone screen and that way you can customize this website for the mobile screen as well and if everything's okay you're gonna click publish website I also want to share with you guys a Zyro referral link which you can use to earn $20 and give your friends out there 3 months of Zyro to use for free of cost. If you want to check out my link, please check it in the description box below. Zyro offers 30 day money back guarantee and their plans shall start from $12.09 to $19.90 per month. Currently, as you can see on my screen, they do have a sale going on because of which their website plan is for $3.90 per month and the advanced store plan is $19.90 per month and so on. I really like Zyro. It is a simple drag and drop editor, perfect for beginners who want to create beautiful websites in few hours. The prices are comparatively cheaper to Wix.com. Don't forget to use our link in the description box below to make some free money when opening a Zyro account. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Until then, see you next time.